Claire from the Castle Libraries here with one of my favourite stories. It's called Cats Ahoy. It's written by Peter Bentley and Jim Field, published by Macmillan Children's Books. One night by the harbour, the church bell struck ten when Alfonso the cat overheard two old men. Did you hear? said the first. There is a boat on the way which will be in the harbour at first light of day. It's laden with haddock. From rudder to bow, it's the biggest catch ever. Alfonso thought, wow. Off shot Alfonso as swift as an arrow through alleys and gardens and streets dark and narrow. He told every cat to prepare for a treat. Follow me and you'll get all the fish you can eat. There's a ship standing empty, a three-masted clipper. Meet there at midnight. Her name is the Kipper. A little while later, two terrified dogs turned tail at the sight of two of a great gang of mugs boarding the kipper on soft silent paws with pistols and cutlasses clamped in their jaws. And then, while the townsfolk were tucked up and snoring, the kipper weighed anchor and slipped from its mooring and steered a straight course for the deep ocean blue with Captain Alfonso and all of his crew. The troller boat skipper, Trelawney P. Craddock, looked down with delight on his huge load of haddock. The biggest scotch ever, he thought with a smirk, or he'll be famous some wealthy and won't need to work. Yes! Howl! But then, what was that? Craddock peered through the mist. There was something close by. And that something had just taste. He listened again and there came a strange howling, a grim ghoulish groaning, a terrible yowling. What's up? gasped the mate. No idea, yelled the skipper. Then, ship ahoy! From the mist sailed the kipper. And as she came close in the moon's eerie light, the fishermen shivered and trembled in fright. For as hard as they stared, not a soul could they see. But blood curdling din, what on earth could it be? Great carted fish, yelled Craddock with quivering lip. We're being attacked, boy. <gasps> a ghost pirate ship. In a panic, the fishermen fled up the deck leapt into the lifeboat and paddled like heck. The cook, who had sneaked down below for a snooze, was forced to abandon his trousers and shoes. And once Craddock's crew had rode too far to hear, the voice of Alfonso cried, OK, all clear. One by one, furry faces popped up with great glee. Hey, check out that attic. Fish-tastic. Yowie. And now, said Alfonso, to smuggle as bay for a great fishy feast. And the cats cried, hooray! In a small sheltered cove out of sight of the land, the sea mugs scoffed haddock and danced on the sand. As the bright rays of dawn were beginning to gleam, they sang, yo ho ho, and a curtain of cream. A day or two later, Trelawney P. Craddock was telling of phantoms who'd stolen his haddock. Their flag was two fish bones, I'm quite sure of that, with something that looked like the skull of a cat. A cat? said the townsfolk. A cat? Don't be daft. Who's heard of cat pirates? And everyone laughed. Yet something had happened that was rather weird. Where were the cats? They had all disappeared.
They were gone for a week, a whole week without dinner. But when they came back, they were fatter, not thinner. Not fat. Some townsfolk began to add up two and two and questioned their cat. Were you there? Was it you? But the cats had all taken a most solemn bow just to look up all sweetly and answer, Me? How? And whatever their crimes, the folk find to this day when they question their mummies, that's all they will say. The end.